Hello and welcome to the third quarterfinals match of the March Madness Tournament Series. Today, Naya Midrange will be facing Mono White Exalted Auras. We will be playing out the Mono White side, while Yurtle will be on Naya Midrange. In game 1 we keep a very good opening hand that could feature turn 2 Hero of Aroas into turn 3 Armored Ascension, thanks to the hero's ability, as we lead with the planes, our opponent plays a second forest, so might have some mana issues, since he is a 3 color deck, and since our opponent didn't show us any red sources, we just go for the turn 2 hero and hope our opponent does not remove it, and our opponent just passes a turn, so clearly has some mana troubles, likely has a cultivate in hand that he cannot cast yet, so we just move in on the armored ascension plan, making the hero a 6-6 flyer, on turn 3, attack, putting the opponent down to 14 life. Our opponent finds a land, but it's a tapped land, so cannot even cast a spell. So we just play out our exalted creature, pumping the hero, keeping up our god's willing in case of removal. But there's no removal spell that can kill our hero at this point. So our opponent just casts a cultivate, and next turn we will be able to attack with all our creatures, and that will be more than enough to take out the Naya deck. So Mono White is up 1 game to 0 over Naya midrange. In game 2 we mulligan a 1 lander and keep a second hand that's not very good having 4 lands and no enchantments. And here we decide to run out the turn 1 trained Caracal, even though we could keep it in hand for Mantor of the Meek, but that plan is very weak to a removal spell on the Mantor. Our opponent plays Elvish Visionary, drawing a card, and here we can play out the Akrazen Squire, with Exalted and the Darksteel Axe, so we can attack with a 2-2 Lifelinker. Our opponent takes it, going down to 18, and we are going up to 22. Opponent plays a turn 3 Brimaz, which is a big roadblock, but we can equip one of our creatures with the Darksteel Axe, so we can attack into it. So we equip the Trained Caracal, attack with it. Our opponent is just going to chump it with the Elvish Visionary, so we go up to 26 and play a second Akrazen Squire. And here opponent is going to attack with the Brimas, putting us down to 22 because we don't block the token. And their opponent plays a Woolly Thokter. Here we can attack with the Trained Caracal. Our opponent is going to block with the Thokter, but we can use God's Willing to save the Caracal and kill the Thokter. And we go up to 27 and play the Mantor of the Meek. And now our opponent is going to cast an Anger of the Gods, which we did not play around because we couldn't really beat it anyways with our current board. Opponent attacks with Primas, going down to 23, and we play a Sigil Paladin and give it the Darkseal Axe, so now we have a 4-2 blocker, which can stop Primas, but our opponent plays a Stormbreath Dragon to fly over for 4 damage. The dragon having protection from white is pretty relevant here. And we attack with a Sigil Paladin after playing a second one, so we now have double Exalted move over the Darksteel Axe to the untapped Paladin. An opponent is gonna play a Garrick's Companion, which can start drawing some cards. We top deck a God's Willing, but we can't really attack, because our opponent has a Storm Breath on defense, which has protection from white. Opponent plays a Genesis Hydra, which triggers the Garrick's Companion, but does not reveal any other creatures. And the opponent's still not going to attack here. We draw Hero of Iroas, but playing it does not really help us out, so we decide to keep it in hand to save it from a possible second Anger of the Gods. And the opponent's gonna play an Ogre Battle Driver, which triggers the Garrick's Companion. We save our creature from removal thanks to God's Willing. Giving it protection from red, the Ground Assault does not damage it. Still no attacks as we draw another land. We can't attack and this time we do play the hero because we might need it as a blocker. Opponent plays a Banefire on the bigger Paladin, taking it out and playing a Woolly Thokter, which gets the boost from the Ogre Battle Driver and draws a card with the Companion. An all-out attack here means we have to chum block the Thokter and take out the token with our first striker. Going down to one life, we top deck an Armored Ascension, equip the Paladin and attack for 11 in the air, but that's still not enough to take out the opponent, which drops to 7 life. But we're at 1, opponent's gonna reprisal our Paladin, play a Thokter, which triggers the Battle Driver and the Wild Nacoddle, and that's more than enough to take us out here with an all-out attack. 
So Naya midrange ties things up and it's now one apiece and everything will be decided in the third and final game. The winner will advance to the semi-final match while the loser will be eliminated from the tournament. In the third game we keep a decent opening hand featuring a turn 1 trained Caracal into turn 2 Sigil Paladin as we play out the Caracal here on turn 1. Our opponent is going to play a tapped Boros Guildgate and passes a turn. We play out the Paladin attacking with a 2-2 lifelinker thanks to Exalted. Opponent drops to 18 life and we go up to 22 as our opponent plays a forest and casts a ground assault on the Sigil Paladin taking him out and passes a turn as we draw a Banisher Priest but we can simply play the Mantra of the Meek here and attack with the trained Caracal instead of equipping it with the Dark Seal Axe. We decide to develop our board first. As we attack for one, opponent down to 17, we go up to 23. Opponent plays a Cultivate, so he doesn't have an Anger of the Gods, most likely. And we draw another land here and decide to play and equip the Dark Seal Axe to the trained Caracal for the additional lifelink bonus. Attack with both. Dealing 5 damage, opponent drops to 12 and we go up to 26 and we still have a God's Willing to protect our creatures. The opponent plays a Garrox Companion as we top deck an Armored Ascension, but we decide not to play it out on the Mentor or the Caracal quite yet because our creatures are still in range of a second Ground Assault if our opponent plays another land, so we decide to use the Banisher Priest to take out the only blocker and attack for 5 once again putting the opponent down to 7, as our opponent plays another land and plays out a Woolly Thoctor and plays another Cultivate, but now that we drew a second Armor Ascension, we can simply enchant the Trained Caracal and attack for 7 in the air, so Mono White Exalted Auras takes the game and the match over Naya Midrange and will advance to the second semi-finals match where it will be facing the winner of Golgari Graveyard versus Junt Midrange. But for now, I wanna thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!